Joker Boxing, I'm here with Errol Jarrett, I'm here with Stuart Little, and I'm here with E-Boxing News, and we're here to talk about Felix Sturm versus Darren Barker for the IBF middleweight title. Uh, Errol Jarrett, what do you think of this, man? I think it's going to be a good fight, man. It's going to be a war, man. Darren Barker's, Darren Barker's always in a, always in a, a, a good fight, and, um, you know, this is his first defense. He's decided to go to Germany. Um, you know, Felix Stern is, is won the belt like three other times, and it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a good fight, you know. Us, it's gonna be a good fight for him. I think Darren might Darren. Actually, I shouldn't say the prediction. I just think it's gonna be a good fight, so I'll just leave it as that. That's my breakdown on that. So, all right, sounds good, Stuart. What do you think of this one, man? Yeah, I really like the fight. Um, it makes it more interesting that uh, Barker's going to Germany because he's gonna basically have to kill Stern to get a win there but <clears throat> I believe he can you know we're not going to see the Darren Barker that fought Darren Gill um, Daniel Gill that, that performance we're going to see a boxing Darren Barker this time and he's very good at boxing I mean he did he, you know he held his own against Sergio for a few rounds but uh, boxing on the back foot as well so I think that's what he's going to do I think if he goes to war with Stern early he could get caught and knocked out but yeah I, I'm really hyped for this fight I can't mind it sounds good E-Boxing News what do you think I think it's a good fight. Yeah, you know, it's a dangerous fight for Dan and Barker. Like Stuart said, going all the way to Germany for your first defence. Mm. Not many people do that. You know, not many people have a great success ratio in Germany. We'll have to see how Darren's is. But, you know, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be the better, who's the better boxer on the night? And we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I agree, man. It's a bold move. It's a very bold move. And it is a risky fight for his first title defence against Felix Stern. Um, I, I like the fight. I think it's a pretty nice fight. You know, I think it's a good fight. And um, hopefully moving forward, though, we do see Barker step it up a little bit. But I don't think it's a bad fight. I don't think it's a bad fight. I think it's a pretty good fight. And you can make an argument for either guy. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's talk about who has the advantages and what their advantages are going to be. I think everyone already knows what Felix Sturm's big advantage is. And that's the fact that this is going to be in Germany. So that's number one, what he has going for him. But uh, EJ, what do you think, man? I think, you know, Felix Stern at the minute has got all the advantages right now. It's in, his, it's in Germany, you know, he's, uh, he's won the belt there before, the judges. Yeah, like you said, he's got all the advantages, but that like, boxing ability, Darren's he's got the ability to, you know, he could have box, but Felix Stern, you know, it's pretty hard. It's going to be a hard fight. It's actually, it's actually quite close. You know, us fans watching is going to be, gonna be we, you know, it's, it's going to be a really good fight for us fans, but um, there's not much in it. You know what I mean? There's not much in it. You know, he's, he's been a champion, Darren's the new champion and that. I, I don't really see too much in it technically, but I think Darren's got a good jab. Felix Stern's got a good jab. And, you know, what Felix Stern's going to turn up, maybe maybe he, he might be turning a bit old. You know, he had a, he had a hard fight with um, with Gil. And, and who was it? Was it Gil the last fight he was in? Where he, where he lost the belt? Um, yeah, Sam Solomon. What is Sam Solomon? <laughs> yeah, Sam Solomon. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sam Solomon. He had a hard fight where, you know, that was a hard fight for him as well. And Gil. So, you know, he might be a bit long on the tooth. And Darren might have got him at the right, right time, which is which is that maybe they timed it at the right time. So, you know, hopefully Darren will come through. But, yeah, it's, it's, I don't really see too much of what I did in that. So, you know, it's even. It's kind of even, you know. I kind of cancel each other out, in my opinion. Go ahead. Stuart, what do you think, man? Um, what's the question, sorry? Who do you think has the big advantages in this fight? You know, who are you giving the advantages to? Um, Power-wise, I think Sturm hits, hits harder than Barker. But um, boxing-wise, I think um, Darren Barker's a lot better boxer. I mean, let's not get let's not miss the facts here. Um, Macklin and Murray outboxed Sturm at times, and Darren Barker's a far better boxer than them. So yeah, if Darren Barker sticks to the game plan, um, which I think he will do, and that's use his boxing skills, then I, I think he's going to school Sturm that badly they can't even rob him on a decision. But you know, I can't. He, he definitely won't stop Sturm because Sturm's got a very good chin. So but, yeah. All right, good points. Uh, e boxing is what do you think, man? Yeah, uh, it's a hard one to call, really. You know, both of them, I wouldn't say either of them have a lot of power, to be honest. Stern's got a better knockout ratio, probably. Uh, recently, he's knocked out, you know, Zibik. His last fight, he actually won by a knockout against some guy called Rad Zephic or something. He was, you know, not a great fighter, but he also knocked down a guy, you know, Sam Solomon. Who was, by the way, tested positive. Everyone, you know, forgot to mention that. Mm. But yeah, you know, Sam Solomon tested positive. He knocked him down a few times. It depends what it comes down to on the night, really. Who's the better boxer? Felix Dame is on the um, 
on a decline. But is that is Felix Stam on a decline a better box than Darren Barker? Probably in his prime. I don't know. I think so. I think so. Very good points, man. Very good point. I think everyone's made good points. To me, obviously, the biggest glaring advantage for uh, Sturm is that this is going to be in his backyard. But even that being said, I, I don't think this one's going to go the distance. I actually don't. I just have a gut feeling that it's going to get stopped early for some reason. Um, Felix Sturm, when he was in his prime, was a terrific counter puncher. Even even now, he's, he's a pretty good counter puncher. Very technical boxer. Has a nice jab. His only problem is there's times where he could let round slip away because of inactivity, but then when you factor in the fact that this is going to be in his backyard, even those rounds that he's, you know, quote-unquote letting slip away, he's probably going to be winning in the eyes of the German judges, right? So um, that's that's going to be something that's going to help Felix Sturm a lot in this fight. I think Darren Barker is going to have to be very, very aggressive. He's going to have to use his youth, which is going to be his advantage, and um, yeah, he's going to have to really mix it up and really try to go for the late stoppage if I'm Darren Barker. I'm not really trying to let this go um, to the judges. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it, man. Let's get into our prediction. EJ, what do you think? Um, going for Darren, man. I think Darren put it out, just squeak it out again like he did the stern. Um, I think um, it would be very tight. Um, yeah, man, I, I, Darren, I like Darren. I think Darren will outpoint him. You know, probably like a majority of your split decision. I think I, I, I like Darren taking it on points, regardless. You know, he might even get knocked down in the fight, but I like Darren taking it. You know, coming back and beating him on the cards. You know, Darren's very cagey. He's got a great left hook. You know, how he brings him in the cow. And Phoenix then, you know, he's like I said. You know what I mean? He, he does hit hard, but I don't think he'll be able to... Darren's got the hand speed on him. You know what I mean? Use his boxing range. He's very confident at the minute, you know? Very confident. Just got the belt, you know? I think um, it's a good it's a good thing. I think Darren, Darren will take it on points, definitely. All right, sounds good. Good point. Stuart, what do you think? Yeah, I'm going to go Darren Barker on points. And I think he's going to have to be a wide one as well. I mean, if he lets rounds get close, then we could be talking a robbery here. So I think Darren's going to have to do a lot of work, make it clear to the judges who won every round. And, you know, one of them ones, I think if it's close and it's going either way in the rounds, then you know the German is going to pick Sturm mm. and um, Darren could be in trouble. But, uh, yeah, I think Darren Barker's got enough to beat Felix Sturm. He's not the fighter he used to be, Felix. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go Barker points. All right. Uh, E-box, wide, wide, you think? Wide points. All right, sounds good. E-box and news? Yeah, um, I'm going to say Felix Sturm's going to win this by decision. I don't think there's too much in it, really. You know, I think the, the amount that Felix Sturm has degraded with his age will be uh, counted by the home advantage. So, um, yeah, I, I can see it being a close decision to Felix Sturm to um, make history as the only ever four-time world champion from Germany. Very interesting. Bold prediction from E-Boxing News. Um, here's how I look at it, man. Uh, you know, Felix Sturm, when he was in his prime, man, was obviously a terrific uh, fighter. And he's even been a, a great fighter for the, the past couple of years now still. So he's, he's of course, dangerous, and he's going to be dangerous fighting in Germany. But with that being said, there's just something about Darren Barker right now. You know, he's, he's just got that belt, and I don't think he's really trying to let go of that belt right now. You can see that he's very motivated when he talks about the belt. I feel like he's going in there, man, and Sturm is going to have to really knock him out to win this fight, I think. I think he's that determined. And, um, yeah, I think even if he was to get knocked down in this fight, I see him getting back up and, you know, going to war with Sturm. And I think he's going to come out on top, man. I think he's going to come out on top. But I'm actually going to go with late stoppage. I'm going to make a bold prediction and say, uh, Darren Barker is going to get this one by late stoppage. I think we may see Felix Sturm get old in the ring. That's that's very possible that we could see that happen. And I think you know Barker and his people are telling him going over there, hey, if you could if you could stop him, get him out of there. Don't give the judges a chance to take this title away from you right now at this point. Now, obviously, the winner of this fight is going to have some interesting options on on the table in this exciting uh, middleweight division. What do you guys want to see from the winner of this fight, EJ? Um, well, yeah, obviously they had the big round table here in Europe. You know, you got and 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 you got uh, Andy Lee, you got the Murray, you know, you got you got the Macklin. That's the you know that's the fights with the, you know we want to see over here. You come back and and try and clear up domestically. You know, give the, give one of them guys a shot. Why not? You know what I mean? Because if you know you stick out there in in the world scene, you eventually they're gonna try and take your belt. Hopefully, you can come back and defend the belt in the O2, um, sell the place out and. Um, 
my first pick, you should go against, um, give um, Thingy a shot. What's his name? Uh, not Murray, what's his name again? The guy in Macklin. Give him, I think he'll take Macklin. Yeah, easy fight for him. Easy, easy fight for him. The other two, it's a bit harder. Definitely. Andy Lee, nah, it's not funny, mate. They, you know what I mean? He's tall, rangy, you know? And the Murray, nah, it's not even funny. That's, that's, that should be your last fight. Murray's a very tough guy. So I'm saying yeah. uh, he, this is what I think he should defend the belts against them guys and you know in, in wars, you know, get wars, you know, we talk about Ben Eubank and all them fights there. You know, put your name up there and, and, and you know put classic fights. People are talking about the last fight with obviously with Frotch and, and Groves, yeah. It was a great fuss for us domestically. Just come back and defend the belt against them guys, give them guys a shot at their world belt, you know, and uh, and uh, see what happens there. So that's our thing you should you should do next. I, I, it's for I stand for Stern, sorry. For Stern, you know, Stern won the belt, like for four time, he wins it the fourth time. I think he should, that, that should be enough accolades for him. You know, other than that, you're going to get hard fights, you know. Um, I think more, maybe he should call it a day, you know. He beat De Loya, in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion. You know, he's won the belt four times, you know. I think, you know, nothing else to, for him to achieve. I think, um, I think that'll be, I think that he'll call it, call it, should call it a day after that. All right, sounds good. Good points, man. Uh, Stuart, what do you think? Um, I'd like to see a unification with Peter Quillen. I think that'd be a great fight, but can't see it happening. Um, talk is that Eddie Hearn's already made a deal that uh, Daniel Gill rematch. Apparently, it was part of the contract. Hmm. So I think we're going to see that. I'm not really too enthusiastic about that fight. But yeah, Quillen, I'd like to see that. And I'd like him to see, see him fight um, Andy Lee as well. I don't think Martin Murray will happen for some reason. I just don't think that fight will happen. I think Martin Murray will end up fighting another big name somewhere. Um, but yeah, that, that's it with Darren Barker. I think Quillen and uh, Andy Lee are my two favourite. Sounds fight. good. Uh, Ibasi News, what do you think? Yeah, it depends who wins the fight. Um, I think Sturm will win. So the uh, contracted agreement is he has to have a rematch in London, I think. So that will be his rematch done if he gets through that rematch. Um, the only big fight, I I'll look for just the biggest fight there, which will be either Sergio Martinez or just shout at HBO until they give you, you know, double your rates, really, and then accept a fight, a fight with Golovkin, mm. if you can. If they'll give you double your rate, that'll be quite. That'll, that'll be a good a good shout for him, just sort of going away present. But uh, if if uh, Barker wins, which I don't expect him to, like yeah, like Errol said, go through the go through the the English words, you know, Andy Lee, um, Macklin, and Murray, if you still got your title. Well, that sounds good. Good points by everybody. I mean, you guys, I guess you could probably guess what I would like to see. I'd like to see somebody finally stop running from Golovkin and take that fight. Because in my mind, at the end of the day, in most people's minds, Golovkin is the true champion at middleweight. You know, he's the true champion until people start getting in line to fight him. And Felix Sturm is one of those guys who has been in that long line of people who were running from Golovkin. So that's what I'd like to see. Probably won't happen. I'm smart enough to realize that. So... You know, um, Darren Barker, if he wins, like I think he will. Um, I'd like to see him fight Martin Murray. And, and I agree with Stewart. I think that's another fight for whatever reason they probably don't want. They probably don't want him to fight Martin Murray for whatever reason. So I, my best guess is that they're going to they're gonna pursue Matthew Macklin, you know, who's one of the more weaker guys there. And, uh, you know, if he, if he is contracted to give Daniel Gill a rematch, I'd rather see that than the Macklin fight, definitely. I'd rather see that yeah, fight. Yeah, I'll be I think it'll be better for his resume and it'll give him more credibility in this division to get another win over Daniel Gill. I think that'd be great for him. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. Does anybody have any for, uh, you know, any more thoughts on this fight, Darren Barker versus uh, Felix Stern? Yeah, I think Darren Barker should fight um, Andy Mundine, man. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not a bad idea. He just beat Shane Mosley, so give, on, give Andy mm -hmm. Mundine a fight, man. Australia, you know how it is with Ashes. You know, England and Australia, you know how that goes. <laughs> you know how that goes. Yeah, that's a really good point. That's a really good point. Stuart, were you saying something? No, no, no. Okay, cool. But, yeah, those are our thoughts on it, man. Uh, those are our thoughts on Felix Sturm versus uh, Darren Barker. I think it's going to be a great fight. I'm looking forward to this fight. Uh, we got one of us, E-Boxing News, is on upset alert. And I think the rest of us are going with Darren Barker. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and check out all these guys, man. Go subscribe to them. E-Boxing News, Jared Boxing, and Stuart Little, man. Go check out all of their channels. Go ahead and leave us some comments, guys, and let us know what you think.